Back on Giants franchise, we are one and two. However, the NFC East has not been so good this year. Commanders one and two as well. Eagles one and two, and that's who's on our schedule today. Cowboys have yet to win a game, but it's obvious that we need a change. Our defense has played fairly well. Our offense has just not been able to match. And I think it starts at quarterback. I think we all know starting quarterback Cody Bailey, former top 10 pick in the draft. And it's time for a change. And it's time for demon era Cody Bailey. He's been hit or miss at times, but we're going blackout. You know, erase the social, uh, social media. Just restart. This is our quarterback. And hopefully a little bit of a style change can... Light a fire under Cody Bailey and the rest of this Giants offense. Finally start finding the end zone a little bit more often. You got some of the playmakers. Receiver still a little bit weak, I would say, in general. Don't really have that true separator. And Nick Duvall, I still think, is our best weapon at tight end number one, obviously. So we need Cody Bailey to step up a little bit, start playing a little bit better. And that starts at Philadelphia. A historically very difficult place for the Giants to play. We got to play great there today. QB1 check-in. We talked about it. Coach, your team has struggled out of the gate so far, and when that happens, a lot of blame is usually placed on the quarterback. Who needs to step up? I think blame is a strong word, but that's part of being a quarterback. When the team is slumping, everybody's looking to you to pull them out of it, and I think our situation is no different. You guys know it. Wins are a quarterback stat. There aren't 52 other players on the active roster at any given moment that are responsible for winning and losing. It's only on the quarterback. Beat the Eagles and have three plus passing touchdowns with Cody Bailey. That is our goal that we hopefully will accomplish today. It's a primetime game, 8.30 p.m. at the link. We got to show up. And although Jalen Hurts has been phenomenal in real life this year, he's a player that we've been able to really shut down in Madden franchise. And the way we do that is by containing the quarterback scramble. We keep Jalen Hurts in the pocket. He's just not the same. He freaks out. He runs into sacks. So we're going to try and contain the QB scramble today. We already don't get a pass rush at all. But uh, pass rush plus QB more accurate in pocket. That just seems bad. All right, I'm going to not do that. Let's do defend the short pass. They have Derwin James too. That's right. We will try to throw it deep today. Uh, and I will say, I wish you were able to kind of like actually implement some sort of game plan without taking such drastic hits. Like, the fact that we have double minus on pass rush when we already don't have a pass rush because of the sliders is crazy to me. But it's the way it is, I guess. We'll just try and contain him in game. Get a spy out there. We got Dontrell Cobb. We got some linebackers that can really run with him. How healthy is our defense going to be? Pretty healthy. Zero injuries. And then offensively, got to maximize Cody Bailey. Well, we're going to be able to because there are no injuries on the offense side of the ball either. I really thought we'd have some upgrades, but I guess not. The former giant Jabril Peppers is also on the Eagles, but Monday night football, here we go. The Eagles, they have some great end zones now. That kind of like little minor rebrand they did not too long ago, I think is paying off. It looks a little bit more modern, a little bit better. And uh, they brought in Tremaine Edmonds in free agency too. This is a good defense. They're not messing around. But Cody Bailey is looking a little bit different today. And hopefully we see some results on the field as a result of changing what Cody Bailey's really, you know, vibing with. So we'll see what happens. Road game, not going to be easy. See the Eagles offense first. I mean, Wyatt Anthony's going to kick it maybe about 20 rows deep right now. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I, there's not even a chance it's going to stay in the stadium. We could have made him return it. We might start trying to do that. Get a little bit more air underneath it or some returns. Like, when you are a kicker, though, you're rooting for touchbacks. But if we can really hang the ball up in there, uh, we, we might try and see what a return might look like. Maybe we can pin them inside the 20. Eagles going trips right to start. Sanders is the lone tailback. Not a surprise. It is play action. We committed to the pass there. And Hertz is going to look to scramble. We are on it a little bit he only gets three it's gonna be a lot of casual qb spies maybe not like a definite one where it's okay we're gonna put a qb spy assignment on the field but maybe one of those spot droppers turns into a little bit of a okay watch jalen hurt see what he does and uh maybe abandon your 
responsibility depending on what happens. Like John Bost here, if Sanders stays in to block, we might just patrol the middle of the field and see if we can take away Hurts. Quick throw, Glenn Gore right there. We'll meet the Dallas offense. This is the first time we're seeing them this year. Their quarterback, of course, is Jalen Hurts, but they brought in the rookie Demarcus Stevens with star development, despite only being a 59 overall. Miles Sanders at running back with the second year Henry Jackson in behind him. Jeremiah Hall at fullback and a very good receiving core. Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, and Chase Claypool. Pat Bolin, a good rookie as their fourth option. Maybe see him in the slot. Dallas Goddard at tight end, and we know what their offensive line can do. It's very, very good. Jordan Mailata, John Simpson at left guard now. Chandler Meadows at center with Solomon Kindley and Lane Johnson. A little bit worse than we've seen it in years past, especially on the interior with no more Jason Kelsey, but overall is a very solid unit as Hertz will go from empty here. We will look to quarterback contain, and we were pretty much going to spy him anyway there. And it is third and five. Sanders has not stayed in to block yet. He's gone out on a route every time, and this is no different in a way. It's going to be a screen, and Sanders outruns Jeffrey Simmons for the first down on the slip screen. I thought he was pass blocking at first and just didn't get out to the flat in time. Good play call from the Philadelphia Eagles here. We have Victor Farr on the field, our first-round pick. It's going to be a run, though. Somebody make a play. Okay. That's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Ball comes out. Big hit by Dontrell Cobb. It's recovered by Deep Coop. Oh my goodness. No commentary needed. Dead silent until Dontrell Cobb laid the boom. We had a missed tackle of the flat with Dory Jackson, and Cobb was not messing around. The king of New York kissed the ring. Dontrell Cobb, man, this guy is unbelievable. And now our offense will take the field. Cody Bailey and the New York Giants. Not a great stat line from Bailey so far. Four touchdowns to seven interceptions. We're looking to clean it up today. Hopefully we can do it. Start by passing, quick throw underneath. It's Kadarius Tony. Might really want to utilize the run after catch ability of some of these guys, especially with Cody Bailey's inability to throw the ball deep down the field at times. So check downs, maybe you can call them that, but sometimes it's just the design of the play. Get the ball out quickly and let your playmakers make plays. Although Saquon Barkley is going to get the give on this one. Looking for space. Breaking a tackle and Barkley still on his feet. Barkley to the second level and down into Philadelphia territory. His first touch of the game goes for 20 to the Eagles 43. Barkley just stayed patient. Broke a Kaiser White tackle and was off to the races. Good blocks down the field as well from the receivers including Larry Smith but... Odell Beckham Jr. involved as well, Kadarius Tony. Great start from our offense, but we've seen that before. We gotta be able to capitalize, especially in the red zone, but you gotta make it down there first. Quick throw out to the flat, it's Saquon Barkley. He's looking good today. Another broken tackle for Saquon, gets four. Saquon Barkley right now, it's a Saquon show. Another quick throw to the running back. And it was just a good, good position there. I, I feel like we could have had a big mistake if that ball was not placed perfectly, but it was. So we're not going to worry about ifs, ands, or buts. Let's worry about the result. Quick throw. Duvall cannot hold on. I'd love Kadarius Tony in the flat here. See a linebacker in coverage. You got to be able to take advantage of that matchup. Tremaine Edmonds runs really well for a linebacker, though. So we really can't turn that into a whole lot. But that's not a terrible result. Third down and three. See what happens here. And we're going to try and thread the needle. It's Nick Duvall. It was a very, very tight window as well. We had Duvall kind of on a skinny post. Kadarius Tony on a slant. It was going to be a really, really tight window of time there. But we do try to stretch the field a little bit. I'm watching that linebacker, right? And if he comes down to play Tony, we can throw the ball just over the top. It was a tight window. But it was a very, very well-thrown ball from Cody Bailey. And we have the ball on the two-yard line. Moving systematically down the field. Quick throw underneath. And it is dropped. Tony cannot reel it in for the touchdown. Lobbing it up. Nick Duvall. Go up and get it. Red zone beast. Duvall with his touchdown. First of the game for either, either side, obviously. But that's just Cody Bailey giving the big receiver a chance. And Nick Duvall at 6'4", 240, 
is uh, certainly a mismatch, even against the six foot five linebacker Tremaine Edmonds. Against the blitz, that's going to work out. Maybe had a slant open as well, but can't complain with the touchdown. Seven nothing Giants. Good drive, good result. Things could have gone a little bit differently on that drive, certainly, but can't complain being up seven nothing and and no real mistakes. Okay, that's way too good of a run for Miles Sanders. That honestly could have been a touchdown. And maybe we'll see if Philadelphia chooses to run the ball a little bit more frequently here. It's another run. Dontrell Cobb all over it, but Sanders is playing very well. Proving to be a very difficult ball carrier to bring down. And he gets the give again. Cobb shuts him down that time with a little bit of help. Third and three. We're going to pass commit. If they want to run, go for it. Yeah, didn't think so. Quick throw to the flat, though. Nothing we can really do there. Sanders still on his feet. Okay, he's he's a cheat code this game. It's going to be another pass commit here. Second and three. They do run, though. Could have been disastrous implications as a result of the pass commit, but it's only a few yards. First and ten. A little bit of a bigger group in now to try and stop the dangerous Miles Sanders, but they can just throw the ball. They have Dallas Goddard. They have A.J. Brown. They have Devontae Smith. It's a tough offense to stop. We really haven't been able to affect Jalen Hurts too much. He's eight for eight right now. We gotta find a way to get the football out and out inaccurately. We've blitzed, haven't really been able to get there. We're gonna keep trying things. And John Boss is just completely lost. Miles Sanders is looking like Barry Sanders right now. It's not good. Come on, Dontrell Cobb, blow somebody up. Yeah, I mean, you knew that was going to be a completion. As soon as Caleb Farley started drifting away to cover nobody with Dallas Goddard wide open, I know it's zone defense, but there's no threat on that side of the field. Sticking in man coverage is just going to get us burnt anyway. When the CPU wants to score, they will score. But Hurts is running into a sack. Aziz Ojolari right there. That's what we got to do. Maybe it's play man coverage, send man blitzes, keep guys covered for long enough for Jalen Hurts to freak out and make a mistake. That's what he did that time. Although I worry about man coverage in this spot. Second and goal from the 15. We are trusting our guys to make plays. And that's a slant. It's They got it all back. That's wide open. Good route. I, that's why you t can't trust man coverage. Especially not near the uh, end zone. Gotta be in zone there probably. But something would have been open regardless. Goddard, touchdown. Eagles looking to tie it up. You know, I think we, we start to run into a little bit of trouble when we try to, you know, bite off more than we can chew. But we are going to try and stretch the field. But we leave Nick Duvall wide open with our route combos. That worked out beautifully. We'll take the first down. Maybe should have been a little bit more patient, wait for that route to develop a little bit longer. It is a slant. That's something you're going to throw quickly. But the swing route out of the backfield from Saquon Barkley looked like man coverage was able to take Tremaine Edmonds away and leave the middle of the field absolutely wide open. We're going to mix things in with a run. Right up the middle. Saquon lower the shoulder. Takes a huge hit. But gets some good yardage. Maybe a perfect time for play action. A little lob in there would have been tough. I kind of thought that Odell was running across the field. I'm not going to lie to you. Really didn't expect him to sit down. That's how mistakes happen. We catch a little bit of a break there. Third down and three. Odell wide open. Just sit down. Just catch the ball. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Don't leave Saquon open. He already has, what, like four catches in this game? I know it's not a secret that Saquon should be more involved in our offense, but I think we've unlocked him as a receiver especially. We're going to throw it to him again. There's Saquon. Thank goodness we didn't get one of those stupid rack catch drops. It's a good result. I could be talked into taking a chance down the field here. Navigating. Nick Duvall might have been open. Bailey's put the football on the ground, taking a hit. That's on me. Saquon wraps up Kaiser White, who recovered the fumble. Uh, I was not reading that right side of the field. Was Duvall open the entire time? Tried to step up and make a play. That's just unfortunate. Bailey's going down to the ground, but takes another hit and uh, coughs it up. How open was 88 on this? Oh, he wasn't really. It would have been it would have been a Saquon check down, would have been our, our right move, which I didn't even I didn't even come close to seeing. So bit of a just just a rough spot. Make a play! Let's go. 
That's not an easy matchup. That's Darnay Holmes on AJ Brown. I could have seen that one being caught, you know, nine times out of ten, but not right now. Here's a screen. Get over there, Cobb. Let's go. Had a little bit of help from Dexter Lawrence as well. All right, we're closing in on him. Just sticking in man coverage, making plays. But on third and 11, we are going to mix it up. Dontrell Cobb, play the middle of the field. Play the sticks. Quick throw, you got to wrap up. A.J. Brown upended by Adoree Jackson, well short of the first down. And they will punt. Good stop from us. Corey Bohorquez on. Greg Sheldon back deep. Let's get a good return, Greg. They don't even want to give you a chance. We're going to be backed up so far to the six. Uh, we got to get back out of our own end zone. Change the direction. Okay. Maybe. All right, third and eight. Not convinced this is a convertible down in distance. We're going to try our very best here and just kind of see what happens. Would not be ashamed to punt here, but we're going to throw it to Kadarius Tony wide open on the slant. Nice little crosser from Kadarius Tony ends up being wide open. And we get a really nice result out of it. Yeah, he was just running an in-breaking route, not even really a slant, kind of a, you know, a hybrid, or just a really a crosser, I would call it. And they're in man coverage, and he just runs away. And I think we're just going to clear out for Saquon here. If somebody burns down the field, great. But... We're just going to dink it down to Saquon, make somebody miss. That's how you do it, Saquon. It's a good result. Two-minute offense. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. We're in a spot where we're going to start thinking about timeouts, but not forcing them. That's got to be a good ball. Let's go. And a broken tackle from Tony. Let's go. Bailey, I needed a good throw there. He delivered it right where it needed to be. Tony getting funky. Awesome ability to uh, extend that. We're going to call a timeout. I know, listen, 14 yards to go, 50 seconds. We didn't need to burn one there, but I don't think it's the worst idea. Just kind of gather ourselves, choose the right uh, play here. And with Duval wide open, we're just going to throw it right to him. Let's go hurry up. 35 seconds on the clock. Can we get that in there. Odell Beckham Jr. down to the one. The quick throws are paying off. And can you do you think coach wants us to run dig here? It's only every suggestion. First and goal from the one. Larry Smith wide open. Touchdown. Another amazing drive. It's been a good game so far. It's been a good game so far. A couple of fumble turnovers for each team. But other than that, good offense all around. Defenses have to start playing a little bit better. But they both kind of seem to be in this bend but don't break style. And they keep breaking for the most part. I know I know a turnover, kind of a fluky turnover for each side. But other than that, you know, it's been a pretty offensive game. Philly going to have a chance here. It's a lob to the end zone is their best chance. We just can't get to Hurts. He's going to lob it up here. Can we get a turnover? That would have been nice. But that is the end of the first half 14-7 Giants both quarterbacks have played well we needed Cody Bailey to play well and he's played well so far we get the football to start the second half my only concern is that these games are sometimes too few and far between we need a little bit more consistency out of Cody Bailey however playing well tonight we got to appreciate it let's hope that continues and continues and continues throughout not only the second half but the rest of the season. Greg Sheldon back deep to return. Bohorquez will kick it to him. Sheldon will have a chance here. Ops not to take it. Get the football to start at the 25. Let's go offense. You've looked good so far. For the most part, let's continue that trend. All right, third down and six. The run did not work. Let's have Tony cross the field here. A lot of congestion. There's a large mesh point going on. We lob that in there. Duvall! Did he hold on? He did it. Chains moving. That was a risky throw. I'm not going to lie to you. That was a risky decision. But Duvall had enough space. As long as Bailey delivered an accurate ball, we were going to move the chains. And it was accurate enough. Duvall does a good job to hold on. Again, that could have gone poorly. Thankfully, it did not. And maybe a design shot off play action here. Everyone loves it. We maybe had Duvall, but we have Jaden Rhodes. We'll take the guaranteed first down as opposed to 
what would have been a tough throw. Bailey, good throw under pressure. I'm going to keep complimenting him when it's warranted. You think they know it's a pass. We're out of empty here. Just check it down. We got Nick Duvall. He's going to be really close to the marker. They're not going to give him the first down. Brings up third and inches. I think we're going to go to Saquon here on the run. Still look like we're stretching the field a little bit. You know, we have uh, three receivers on the field. Not sure they're going to be convinced it's a run here. But Tony in motion makes it a little bit more obvious. Saquon, though, does a good job to find the hole, hit it, and move the chains. Only six carries in this game. Now seven carries after the first down. Oh, that's read option. That's right. Bailey puts the football on the ground again, and it is a fumble. Uh, of course, that's what happens when you put the football on the ground. It was read option. I forgot it was read option. When you run with the quarterback, bad things happen. That's, it's unfortunate. Uh, as I was saying though, Saquon, <laughs> seven carries in the game now, but he does have like maybe seven catches. He's been all over the place in the game, just not purely out of the backfield all the time. And um, yeah, it's an unfortunate spot for or a turnover. We're moving the ball, we're doing well. And it's just, you know, another uh, unfortunate result. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, we have two fumbles in this game as Derek Cooper, ever injured, takes a knee, holding his lower back. That's never good. We do have good depth at linebacker, but that's an unfortunate loss. Uh, but yeah, man, and Cody Bailey's played well, but it's going to show two turnovers on the stat sheet as they're going to take a deep shot. Adoree Jackson, stay there. Good swat. Chase Claypool probably not going to win a 50-50 ball, though, so I guess it makes sense, but you can see Got Tony Fields into the game. Because Derek Cooper is injured. Where is Claiborne? Hurts. Plenty of options. Doesn't choose any of them. Wants to be sacked by Kayvon Thibodeau. And he obliged. Had a help as well. Did Ojalari get there? No, it was Dexter Lawrence. And the Eagles will punt. So no harm, no foul on the fumble. And of course, you know, we, we never recover the fumbles. Always going to go to the other team. And Greg Sheldon will get his first touch of the football tonight, I want to say. At least with an opportunity to do something with it. That's not a bad return to the 31. Low back strain. Tony Field's going to stay in the game. Offense, give me a good long drive. Tempted to take a shot here. Could see Duvall getting very open. And that's exactly where we're going to go with it. The big tight end, Nick Duvall, wide open, took a big hit. But not going to cough up the football as easily as Cody Bailey has. There's no help to the inside. You're running the ball. Saquon, very good result. Look at the power running, falling forward for the big first down. Darius Tony in motion. He'll get it. Cut back up the field. It's just not a clean cut. I got to figure out how to do that better. No hesitation on that. Tony's the guy we got to go to. He breaks a tackle. I think ends up losing a couple as a result. Uh, from what he would have had anyway. It's only a two-yard gain in the end. His sixth catch on the game, though. Not too shabby. Probably not four-down territory for us, so we have to convert here. And Bailey's going to be sacked. Ramirez is in there. Brings down Bailey. That is not what we wanted to see. Was anybody open here? Maybe Tony, but it would have been tough. We're going to bring out Wyatt Anthony for the 54-yard attempt. And this one should be good without a problem. We know he missed in one of these recent games, but no such luck for the Eagles here. Drills it. 17-7 Giants. They're still very much in the game. Lucky we haven't been able to capitalize on some of our opportunities again, which is the story this year. But our defense continues to play well. It's going to keep us in games. We have the momentum. Hope we can continue that. I mean, we see the routes here. Shade outside a little bit, maybe. Doesn't even help at all. See, I, it is nice to see what route they're running. But I feel like it never actually impacts us positively. Darnay Holmes on the blitz. Recovered by Aziz Ojolari after a fumble. Blocked by Boss. And Aziz Ojolari slides into the end zone. Safe touchdown. Aziz with the defensive score. I mean, we set the house. And then we took it to the house. Big time blitz. Darnay Holmes, big play Darnay, making a big play, knocking the football out of the hands of Jalen Hurts. Sirianni can't believe it, and there have been a lot of fumbles in this game. Ojolari, fortunately enough, scoops that one up and takes it all the way back. It's 24-7, big blue.
More blitzes. Get outside, though. Because if Hurts... Ooh, okay. If Sanders broke that tackle on the edge, Akil Edmonds, great wrap there. If Sanders breaks that tackle, it's not looking good for us. Open field tackle was huge for Akil Edmonds. We can pass commit. We see the route. We know what it is. We can stay on that the entire time. Hurts looking to scramble. It is wrapped up. Dexter Lawrence credited with the full sack this time. That was awesome. We might blitz again. I know it's third and 15, but we want that football out quickly. And we can cover this slant. We're going to sit down on it the entire time. And we the blitz was stupid. It was stupid because we, we, let, we let ourselves get beat. I wanted to... First of all, how did he have that much time to throw that slant that deep? Man, was this blitz expertly blocked. <laughs> because they keep in... What is this? Just their offensive line. We send one, two, three, four, five, six against five and get zero because of this idiot, Caleb Claiborne. Just get to the QB, dude. A terrible. We played it aggressive in hindsight, obviously. Should have played it a bit more conservative. That's never any fun. Oh my goodness, we couldn't get to Hertz. I went for the big hit and whiffed. And you know why you play aggressive? Because a turnover maybe ends the game. So we're uh, we're going all out for it. Oh, that's just a sick throw. What are you going to do? Screen. Dontrell Cobb sitting on it. You don't want to throw that Jalen Hurts. That's a good decision to throw it into the dirt. Because that would have hurt. That would have been a mistake. You were flirting with danger. And he's no stranger. He's been doing it all game. Running into sacks. Throwing the ball into some tight windows at times. Obviously, he's had a good game. Otherwise, 18 for 22 for 154. But he's gotten lucky a couple times. That's it. That's it. Ooh, Dory Jackson. Good coverage. That could have gone the other way. Eagles forced to go for it here. It is fourth and four. Devontae Smith against Dontrell Cobb looks like a mismatch. But we know the route. We've been watching film. And Dory Jackson's been watching a ton of it. Jumps in front of the route interception that he could have had on the previous play. Chase Claypool. That's a mismatch. Dory Jackson, way better. Basically runs the route for him. Jumps right in front of the ball and takes the football back. Let's go, Dory. Okay, we need a passing touchdown on this drive. Ailey's played well. Got to play a little bit better, though. You're cut. You're, I'm, you're cut. Play action. Give us the time. Give us the time. Oh, my God. Run to weak side, an accurate touch pass. Duvall was gone. Back-to-back -back play action did not work. I know you guys hate play action. I know it's not, just not good. We're going to take a chance. Tony! Can't get it. All right, we'll punt. We didn't take advantage of that opportunity at all. That's all right. We took some time off the clock. The ultimate goal is to win the game. And we took a step closer to doing that. But... Didn't take a leap forward, just like a just like a little inch. It's a screen. Dontrell Cobb on it. Couldn't get to it. Good tackle though. Jeffrey Simmons. Oh, going one on one. Farley can't get it. Went for the pick. Didn't do anything. And it's a big Dallas conversion. Victor Farr matched up with the tight end Goddard is a fun matchup. I wonder how that's going to continue to go. Well, Adore Jackson. I, I mean, it's a slant. I get that. It's also Chase Claypool. That shouldn't be happening. Not when he's in the zone. Should not be happening. Is Hurts going to scramble? I fear that he is. I don't know what we can do there. We, if we run away, we just give him the throw on the run. If we, uh, we stay where we are, that happens. So it was seven yards no matter what as soon as he tried to take off. Wrap up. Just wrap up. Wrap up. No one can wrap up Miles Sanders. This is a 26-yard touchdown for number 26. I don't really know what we could have done there. Switched on with Farr, but we the change of direction was no good. So we kind of brought him a little bit out of position. And then it's essentially two or three missed tackles that lead Sanders right into the end zone. Philly's still in the game with under five to go. They do have three timeouts. You wonder if they'll decide to uh, onside kick or not. With three timeouts, I don't think so. But they are down by two possessions, so I suppose you never know. I don't think they're going to onside it. And they will kick it deep, but probably going to be a touchback. 
We gotta take time off the clock. Ooh, it's not. Sheldon with a chance to return. We're gonna take that chance. You know how good he can be. Gonna show it off there, though. We still need that passing touchdown, but we also need more time off the clock. Saquon can potentially help us with both. Get us down the field, and then we'll find a way to get into the end zone. I know Odell has played, and Larry Smith really as well. They've played absolutely no impact today. But not everybody has to impact every game, right? I, I feel like we're usually really good with spreading the football around. Jaden Rhodes with a the catch there. But it's been a lot of Saquon out of the backfield, and it's been a lot of Nick Duvall. Kadarius Toney's been involved too. I know Odell's played no impact. But that's okay, and we just back up into a sack. First time we've been sacked today, which is just not accurate. We've been sacked already. All right, third and 10. Can we get the snap off? No. That is a two-minute warning. I'd love to convert this. We're up by 10. We are, I would say, on the edge of field goal range. We can burn a timeout here, or we can actually try and convert, which I would prefer. Try to win the game. You play to win the game. Here we go. Third and 10. Who wants to get open? It's Nick Duvall. He's wide. He's wide. Give it to him. Move the chains. Philly forced to use the timeout anyway. Let's go. Quick throw to the flat. It's Saquon Barkley. Nice little broken tackle. Stays in bounds though. Waste of timeout. And I'd love to hit him off play action here. Second down and four. Who's open? Saquon Barkley. If they don't cover the flat, we're just going to dunk it right down. That's a great result. Final timeout has been used by Philadelphia. First down would end the game. Or maybe with a clock, we could just knee it. Just kneel it down, but we don't want to do that. We need that third touchdown for Bailey's morale. Nick Duvall up the seam, down to the one. Here we go. Fade route, Duvall can't bring it in. We're getting this third touchdown. It's just a question of who wants it. Oh my goodness, we got sacked. How did Kaiser White fly in there? We need the third touchdown. Duvall, wide open. There it is. Third touchdown. We needed it for Cody Bailey. That was big. They just were not covering that set of routes the entire drive. A lot of teams do take that away, force us to make a tough decision. But they just kept leaving Nick Duvall wide open. Uh, we were going to keep throwing it to him. That was your had-to-have-it play. We had to have it for Cody Bailey's morale and confidence moving forward. We got it. Nick Duvall touchdown, second of the game. And that's all she wrote. 31-14, Eagles, you can try your best. But this one is over. This could be the final snap of the game for the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll see what happens. Second down and 10. We double a double covered Chase Claypool. And Sanders, uh, what a great effort. That is the ball game. 31-14 is your final in the new era. New York Giants, led by Cody Bailey, have imposed their will on the Philadelphia Eagles. Pretty mistake-free game as a passer for Cody Bailey. As a runner, leaving a little bit to be desired. Coughed up the football two times. But as a passer, that's where the question marks were. He goes 32 a 40 for three touchdowns, no interceptions, completing 80% of his passes on 327 yards. It was a good game overall. Rushing, Saquon did his job. Nine catch, or excuse me, nine rushes for 57 yards. 6.3 average, forced four, missed tackles. Although Miles Sanders was exceptional. I know it's, oh, 6.3 per carry, only nine attempts. It was just our offense this game. Nick Duvall, 11 catches for 132 and two touchdowns, but Saquon Barkley had eight catches for 60 yards. So still a lot of touches for him. The offense just changed this game. Tony, six for 78. Rhodes, three for 37. Did not have a drop in this game, which is rare for him. Odell, two for 15. Larry Smith, two for five, but did score a touchdown. And then Niles Richard, the undrafted rookie free agent fullback. Or did we draft him? We did draft him. Well, I wish we didn't because his one look, he dropped the football. But he's, that's not his game. He's a blocker. Defensively, eight tackles for both Bost and Holmes. Tackle for loss. Uh, Dexter Lawrence at three. Two for Dontrell Cobb and then one for Simmons. Keel Edmonds, Kayvon Thibodeau, Aziz Ojolari, and Darnay Holmes. And then a sack, of course, for Ojolari, Holmes. Half a sack for Kayvon Thibodeau and one and a half for Dexter Lawrence. And a pick for Dory Jackson. And the fumble was forced for two of them. That's right, Darnay Holmes and Dontrell Cobb. 
covered by Aziz Ojolari and Derek Cooper. Touchdown for Aziz Ojolari. A lot of stats to go over this game. It was a good game from us. Dane Belton with an upgrade. Okay, his uh, zone coverage, I guess, will go up. He's someone who sees the field very occasionally. And then maybe the bigger one is Kadarius Tony with an upgrade point. He needs to be a better route runner. I'd especially like it to be deep down the field. We're going to give him deep threat. That is his new scheme fit. Temporary boost up. Plus two catching. Plus two deep route running. Plus one medium. Those will be upgrades that I can be excited about. Catching is, I mean, playing up to a 99. And then QB1 check-in. The now 2-2 two two Giants starter, Cody Bailey. says, I appreciate what you said to the media this week, Coach. It really motivated me to play well. And judging by the win column and the stat sheet, it worked. Certainly did. You did fumble twice. We lost both of them, but it worked. And also, look at the cleats. That's all I got to say. Look at the cleats. It was obvious what was going to happen. Plus five medium and deep throw accuracy for the next two games. And the offensive lineman will get plus five pass block power and pass block finesse for the next two games. We are about to air it out. And we're going to need to against Denver. They've got a very, very good defense. Commanders, you know, we know what they can do. Two very good defensive lines back to back, especially the commanders. So they have Michael Thomas now. All right. Won't be easy. We have a breakout quarterback challenge. That will be a very fun week five. But that's where I'm going to leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think of the new look Cody Bailey? Going to be playing up to an 85 overall. I have high hopes, high expectations. And you know what? This could be our guy. This could be our guy still. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.